we are going to build uh, tangent and cotangent graphs. Tangent theta and cotangent theta. Okay, let me write down here what we have. 0, pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, and 2 pi. So, let me remind you that tangent theta is equal sine theta over cosine theta. So, for tangent 0, it's going to be sine 0, which is going to be how much? It's going to be 0. And divided by cosine 0, which is going to be 1. So it's equal 1. Next, tangent pi over 2 is equal sine pi over 2. Sine pi over 2 is here 1, because that's a y, right? And cosine pi over 2, it's going to be 0. Let me write down here that um, sine theta is equal y, cosine theta is equal x, just in case who doesn't remember. Okay, so 1 divided by 0, because with division by 0, then it's undefined. Next, tangent pi. So what do we have? My sine is going to be here equal 0. Cosine is equal negative 1, so the result is 0. Tangent, negative, I mean, okay, let's go with, uh, finish the whole thing. 3 pi over 2, that's going to be, at this point, we have sine is negative 1, and cosine is 0, which means it's undefined. And tangent to pi. is equal sine is 0 and cosine is 1 which is equal 0 now let me let me mention it here that uh, 3 pi over 2 is also negative pi over 2 right because if you go backwards get negative pi over 2 and uh, pi over 2 positive is equal negative 3 pi over 2 because if you go this way Right? Negative 3 over 2 pi. Which means, since the, the 3 pi over 2 and negative uh, half a pi uh, have the same position, so they will have the same value. So tangent pi over 2, I can write down negative 3 pi over 2. And tangent 3 pi over 2, I can write down negative pi over 2. Okay, so now let's uh, draw the tangent. Let me see what we are going to get here. Okay. Okay. So... Let me see, this is not precisely straight. Much better. So, what do we have? If this is half a pi, this is gonna be pi, this is gonna be three over two pi, and this is our two pi. Going backwards, this will be negative pi over 2. This is going to be negative pi. This is going to be negative 3 pi over 2. Okay.
and provide these lines. And then I'll show you interesting thing. Okay, let's notice uh, something here. That uh, uh, negative 3 pi over 2 and in, in, in tangent, tangent half a pi, it's undefined. What do we mean when we say undefined? Same thing about negative pi, tangent negative pi. Oh, I did that here, tangent. tangent. Okay. So, what does that mean? That means that they don't have any value there. And that means that at the point of pi over 2, negative 3 pi over 2, negative pi, half a pi, and 3 over 2 pi, they are asymptote with this green color, I dashes this asymptote. And if you build the graph, it's going to look like this. So it's an asymptote here, running towards asymptote and never crosses. This is our graph. Another one. Okay, we see another one. Okay, so what is interesting here that tangent exists only on the half of circle, meaning from negative half a pi to positive half a pi. Why only half? Because at the point of negative half a pi and positive half a pi, there is hole which we, we rep represent by asymptote, right? See here is uh, half a pi. So tangent doesn't exist. So it's asymptote, so tangent running towards this uh, asymptote but never crosses. And the same thing is negative half a pi, here negative half a pi. Same thing is 3 pi over 2, okay? Those are all asymptotes where graph is running to but never crosses. And negative 3 pi over 2, those are asymptotes. Okay? Now, where is the period? Period is going to be, since it's changing from uh, the negative, one, uh, the negative pi to positive pi, so this is going to be our period from this point either this one is our period okay or you can take from this one from here to here also will be your period from zero to pi it's only one pi okay so period t is equal one pi unlike uh, in the case of sine cosine you had there 2 pi, okay? Um, what else we can say? So uh, after add 1 pi, it's going to repeat itself, and we will explore with the properties what I'm going to go over. Uh, I will going to make a separate video about properties of sine, cosine, tangent, cotangent, and uh, we are going to uh, search this function on their properties and odd and even and frequency and all this stuff. Okay, so um, now let's uh, build a cotangent. So if we have here cotangent, 
So cotangent is gonna be cotangent zero is gonna be cosine zero over sine zero. Okay, this is too thick. Let me make it thinner. Okay. So one thing I want to note is uh, pay attention here. Uh, when tangent is undefined, when cosine is zero, see? When cosine is zero, because it's a denominator, it's zero. So which means for cotangent, we have to look for sine, when sine of angle is zero. That's when it's gonna become undefined because we will have to divide by zero. So let's go, cotangent zero, we have cosine of zero, it's gonna be what, one. And uh, sine is gonna be zero. There we go. We got undefined. Next. Cotangent pi over two. My cosine at the point of pi over two, it's uh, going to be zero. Sine is going to be one. So we are getting zero. Okay. Next one, uh, cotangent pi. is going to be Cotangent pi is going to be um, cosine pi, it's going to be negative 1, and divided by sine pi, which is going to be 0, because sine is y, right? There is no y at the point of pi. So we are getting here undefined. Cotangent 3 pi over 2. at this point, or negative pi, uh, half a pi. So cosine at this point is zero, and uh, sine is gonna be negative one, so we get zero. And cotangent two pi, guess how much it's gonna be? Of course, it's gonna be undefined because you are getting cosine is one and sine is zero, so undefined. So we here have undefined and we have undefined here. So let me show you some pattern here. So tangent is undefined in the point, positive half a pi and positive half a pi and negative half a pi or three over two pi. On the other hand, cotangent is undefined in the point of zero and pi. That's where they are undefined. Okay, so now let's build the graph. which means they are shifted from each other by pi over two, right? See that? This is cotangent here, this is tangent here. They are shifted by pi over two, just like uh, uh, sine and cosine. All right, uh, let's build the graph. Okay. Okay, so let's see. This is going to be half a pi. This is going to be pi. This is going to be 3 pi over 2. And this one is going to be 2 pi. Now going towards negative, negative pi over 2, negative pi, and so on. So uh, we are at um, the graph is undefined at the point of pi, which means I'm going to provide uh, asymptote in the point of pi. And uh, asymptote in the point of 2 pi.
which means it's going to be asymptote also in the point of negative pi, right? So how graph is going to look like if we build this graph by point, let's say 45 degrees, 30 degrees, you can look and take the value and uh, do it. So it's going to be, it's going to be opposite phase to uh, tangent and it's going to go like this. Another one. And then this one. Ah, messed up. It's going like straight line. Okay, hold on. Not exactly what I wanted, but okay. So this is our um, cotangent X or cotangent theta, doesn't matter. As you can see at the point of half a pi, it's crossing zero. Sorry, not precisely what I wanted. Yeah, I can improve a little bit. Okay. This looks like better. Okay. At the point of half a pi, we have zero. At the point three pi over two, we have zero. And there is a period also, one pi, which is going from zero to pi. Pay attention that the period for uh, tangent goes from negative pi to positive pi. And for cotangent is going from zero to pi. So it shifted also by 90 degrees, just like sine and cosine. All right, that's all in this video. And I will continue with properties of the trigonometric functions. Now, what's the importance of uh, a sine and cosine? Let's say tangent uh, and cotangent, they are at the deriving from sine and cosine. But uh, the importance of sine and cosine functions in the world is because those are waves and a lot of um, things in uh, uh, in the world they look like waves uh, it can be waves uh, of water uh, it it can be intra infra uh, the inf in infra uh, red waves uh, it can be sound um, it can be radio frequency those are all waves uh, and uh, have uh, really wide, wide uh, usage in the world. So it's crucially important uh, functions, sine and cosine. Okie dokie. See you in next video.